welcome to Gorn Guitar. We have Wish Week. So it's Saturday and we had somebody who wished for a song on Gorn Guitar. And I am about to bring this up here as a tutorial. And you are dead beat. You wished for this song from Starset called Telepathic. Okay, so um, I believe you wished this a while ago. So sorry for you for your wait there, but now it's time. So let's start with this song, and it's especially for you, Dead Beat, and for all you Starset fans. So let's start with this right away. No need for any cape on this one. And we have five different chords to learn. So let's start with D minor. That is open D, second G, third B, and first E. We have C, so that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. Next chord will be G minor, so that's a bar on the third fret, all strings, and the rest will be fifths on A and fifths on D. The next two chords, I'm gonna give you two alternatives to play them because we can do it in one way like we normally do, but we can also use a chord in some different place there because of this song and how the chord progression goes. Uh, but let's take the A minor first. We usually have it up here. So that will be open A, second D, second G, first B and open E. That's the standard A minor, but we can also have it as a bar chord. And if you choose to do that, you have it here on the fifth fret, a bar on all strings, and the rest will be seventh on A and seventh on D. And the final chord we need to know is the A sharp. Okay, so we have it in two different ways here as well. So the first one will be up here, a bar on the first fret from the A string and down, so five strings. And the rest will be third on D, third on G, and third on B. We can also have it up here, a bar on the sixth fret, all strings. And the rest will be eight on the A string. 8 on D and 7th on G. And the reason for the two different ways of playing the A minor and A sharp is because we have a bridge part later and the chord progression there will be in such a way that it's actually easier in my opinion to play the bar chords G minor to A minor. Just move the bar two frets up to A sharp one fret up further. So that's the chord progression there, and that's the reason for having the two chords, A minor and A sharp, in this position up here. But we'll come to that. First, we need to look at the start here, the first verse. So uh, pretty much the whole song will go in one way when it comes to chord progression. It will be the D minor to C to A sharp. Okay, so it starts with um, two rounds of... Uh, just one down per chord. So. And you play D minor one time, C one time, and A sharp one time. And after A sharp, you have a short pause because the value of that will be kind of two, D minor one, C one, and A sharp two. And since we're just playing one down per chord, we will have a bigger pause there after the A sharp. So it goes like this for two rounds. D minor, C, and A sharp. And again, D minor, C, and A sharp. After these two rounds, you're gonna continue with the same chord progression, but now with a strumming pattern, okay? So D minor is the first chord. Let's look at the strumming with D minor. So it will be down, down, clap, down, up. That is one round. So down, down, clap, down, up. So 
So with that, we're gonna play D minor one, C one, and A sharp two. So D minor. So there you have the first verse. The first two rounds will be just one down per chord and the next two and final rounds will be with this strumming pattern. In total four rounds and that is your first verse. That takes us to the first pre-chorus. I don't want to let you go. Okay, so here and also in the bridge part later we have this corporation that I talked about before. The G minor to A minor to A sharp and I'm gonna use these chords is easy chords just to move the bar like this from G minor to A minor the same grip just two frets towards you and then the A sharp you add this little finger here and pretty much the same grip as well so for these this first pre chorus you're gonna play one down per chord and you're gonna do it in the same way there G minor one down, A minor one down, and A sharp one down plus an extra pause because the value there is two. So G minor one, A minor one, and A sharp two. So it goes like this, two rounds. <laughs> So that is the first pre-chorus and that takes us to the chorus and this one you're gonna play that in the same way as we play the last part of the first verse which means you're gonna use the same strumming pattern down down clap down up and the same chords D minor 1, C1 and A sharp 2. You're gonna play that chord progression for four rounds and yeah like this. A sharp chord, so D minor, C, and up here. It's your choice, four rounds, and that is your chorus. Then comes a post chorus, it will play an extra round of that from the chorus, okay? So just give it an extra D minor, C, and A sharp, and that is the post chorus. Okay, that takes us to the second verse, and that is pretty much the same as um, you just played here. You're gonna continue with the down, down, clap, down, up, and the same chord progression D minor, C, and A sharp. You do that for four rounds, and that is your second verse. Second pre chorus follows, and it's in the same way as the first pre chorus, and the same goes with the second chorus played in this first chorus in the same way. And the same way as we just looked at. So, we also have after this second course a post course. You will play it in the same way as the first one, but it's twice as long this time. So, you have two another rounds of D minor, C, and A sharp. Besides from that, everything else is the same. So, after this post course number two comes this bridge part. Okay, so. This is the, with the chords G minor, A minor, and A sharp. So same chords as you play in the pre-courses, but now with a different strumming. I'm gonna use the same chords again with the bar chords only. And the strumming will be for G minor, down, 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 and then you shift to the A sharp one down, and then you go directly to the A, sorry, A minor, and then directly to the A sharp and play down, 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 down. So this is a little bit of a rhythm going on here. I'm gonna play it through a couple of rounds and then I'm gonna explain again how you should do this. So let's go for a couple of rounds of G minor, A minor, and A sharp.
bounce and that is what you should play for this bridge. So to um, summarize this, you play the G minor, total of four downs, but it will be with a certain rhythm. So it will be one, two, three, one. And on this one, right after you switch to A minor, two, okay? So it's basically one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. But you separate this one and two, the last one and two, uh, between the G minor and A minor. So it will be one, two, three, one, two. Again, one, two, three, one, two. And then you continue with the A sharp and play a full round there. So one, two, three, one, two. So you stay on the A sharp, sorry, uh, with the full strumming pattern. So again, slowly. the bridge part and that takes us to the final parts there the third course played in the same way as the other courses and the same goes with the third post course it's played in the same way as the second one remember it's twice as long two rounds of D minor C and A sharp with the strumming and that covers star sets telepathic all right so mr. dead beat I believe you wait for this song a while now and yeah this is for you especially and for all you Star Set fans hope you enjoy this one and continue with sharing Gordon guitar perhaps your song will show up here and I do my best to uh, please all you guys so thank you for watching I hope to see you soon perhaps tomorrow when we had a final wish week song so um, yeah See you then and play tuned.